August 2002, I completed senior high school. And I remember very well in October that same year, at the beginning of the year of the Holy Rosary, now Saint Pope John Paul II brought the luminous mystery. And young as I was, of course, we wanted to understand why the Pope was adding another mystery to the traditional mysteries we had. And as one of the mysteries within this was the praying over the transfiguration, the fourth mystery of light. The first mystery of light is the baptism. The second, the wedding. The third, proclamation of the word of God. The fourth, the transfiguration. And the fifth, institution of the Holy Eucharist. And so in reading about it, I remember very well that Pope Callistus III, in the year 1456, made the Feast of Transfiguration a universal feast. Why so? In 1453, our own Constantinople, which we know, you know, very, very important city, now in Turkey, was conquered by the Ottoman Empire, by the Muslims. And they had planned to attack Belgrade, a very, very important city at the time, also under Hungary. And by the power of God, the Christian soldiers were able to defeat them. And the message of the defeat, those days no WhatsApp, no mobile phone. The defeat was on 22nd July, but the message got to Rome on the 6th of August. And the joy in Pope Callisto said, no, 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 no. This feast that is celebrated here on a small scale, let us make it a universal, give it a universal dimension. But what has this feast for us? And it is simple. And that is what the post-communion prayer says. That God, after we have been nourished by the body and blood of Jesus, help us become like your son, Jesus Christ. That we can also be transfigured. Every day, Father Kujo, yourself, tell, you see, be conscious about it. That God, as I receive your word, as I receive your sacrament, help me to be transfigured. You may be in a black shirt, but let your soul be transfigured, dazzling white, pure. And if we consciously, every day, tell ourselves, God, help us to be transfigured, help us to be transfigured like Jesus, I tell you, the world will be a better place. Each of us, whether in our family life, whether in school, whether with our friends, we would be transfigured. Transformation. Achakemi, as we say, to, to change. It is very, 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 very important. So for me, that is what this feast has for us today. And if we want to be transfigured, we want to be transformed, Christ tells us, we have follow him. We must be with him. We must do what he, Christ, did in order for us to be like him. And God tells us, God gives us the simple means of achieving this. The cloud came and told, and they heard the voice, this is my beloved son. Do what? Listen. In this world, when there are many voices, many, many voices in this world, may God give us the grace to listen to Jesus. Amen.